The ocean is home to a lot of dangerous animals. Whether it's the Pacific blue ringed octopus or a sea snake, the ocean can be a deadly place. However, animals like jellyfish typically don't come to mind. As a fact, the box jellyfish is the deadliest ocean animal in the world, accounting for around 100 deaths per year. Probably the most feared ocean animal are sharks, and worldwide they account for around 5 deaths per year, which really puts that number into perspective. Today we're going back to my encounter with the potentially deadly Portuguese man o' war, an animal that has one of the worst stings anywhere in the ocean, and is one of the most fascinating ocean creatures. This encounter took place in the Florida Keys, which is the diving capital of the United States, and plays home to animals like sharks, eels, stingrays, and yes, Portuguese man o' wars. On this day, I was out with Captain Brian of Satisfaction Charters, who after taking me to the world famous Alligator Reef Lighthouse, decided to show me some other cool diving spots. And on the way, he noticed something bobbing around in the water. That's right, it was a Portuguese man o' war, one of the most dangerous animals we could have come across while out on the water. Captain Brian took me over to it and I hopped in the water to get a closer look. Now, I I know that most of you out there think this animal is a jellyfish, but it's actually called a siphonophore, which is an animal that's made up of a colony of organisms called zoids. None of the individual parts could function on their own, making it to where this isn't just one animal, but a colony of them working together. This man of war is about average size, with its tentacles reaching about two feet. And as the apple somatic colors will tell you, this animal is indeed venomous. Its tentacles are lined with coiled and barbed tubes that deliver venom. One brush against this man of war would definitely ruin your day. So how painful is their sting actually? Personally, I've never been stung, but it's said to be one of the most painful stings you can take. Symptoms from just one sting include intense burning, blurry vision, light sensitivity, nausea, vomiting, and more. Although they can be, man of war stings are rarely ever fatal. However, deaths do happen. The fact of the matter is, if you're only stung by one, you're probably going to be fine. You might have to go to the hospital for your pain, but you will end up being okay. However, if you have an allergic reaction to the sting, or you find yourself in a swarm, then they become deadly. But moving on from the sting, let's talk about what they eat. Man of wars use their venomous sting to prey on small fishes, pelagic crustaceans, and other small invertebrates. Their venom paralyzes their prey, making it easy for them to consume. One really cool fact about the man of war is that their tentacles can sting even after the animal has died. There's tons of videos and photos of these animals washed up on shore and still stinging beachgoers. So if you ever see a man of war on the beach, I highly I highly advise you don't pick it up. While I was in the water, I also noticed something really fascinating. It was a man o' war fish. This is a fish that I've never seen before while diving. What's so fascinating about this fish is that they're only ever found living underneath Portuguese man o' wars. This fish is immune to the venomous sting and uses the siphonophore for protection from predators. It's pretty cool to see a little fish like this hanging out inside the deadly tentacles of a man o' war. For those that know about or have seen one, the Portuguese man of war is one of the most fascinating and creepy ocean animals. I was lucky enough to come across one while out on the water this day, and it was so cool to see in person. Alright guys, now if you thought this little segment was cool, make sure to go back on the full video to see everything I encountered on that day. But that is going to wrap up today's video, so make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.